Hi there, hi there. Welcome, welcome. My name is Megan Desart, and today I'm here to talk to you guys and teach you guys all about the seven P's of network marketing. So I think when people join a network marketing business, they tend to overcomplicate things, overcomplicate the entire system, overcomplicate the process, think they can do things on their own. I'm here to teach you a very simple concept that will literally create success and duplication far into your downlines and you will catapult your business and grow a huge organization. And that is the seven P's of network marketing. And if, if you follow the seven P's, it's basically wash, rinse, repeat. If you follow this every day, follow this system, follow the system, get your people plugged into the system, again, it's going to duplicate and you're gonna grow a massive organization. So the first P, which is one of the most, I'm gonna say the most important P of the seven Ps is posture. So posture simply means you have so much confidence, so much belief, and so much conviction in what you're doing and what your products have to offer and the benefits of the opportunity and the product that no one can shake you. No one can shake you. It's not being a jerk to people. It's not that. It's just being super confident and postured when you're talking to someone. Because if you waver and you're like, eh, maybe it's a good product. Oh, I think it's a good opportunity. And you're not fully confident in yourself and in what you're doing your prospect is not going to believe it either. So it's literally just having a strong conviction, a belief that no one can shake in what you're doing, what your opportunity has to offer, what your products have to offer. You don't dance for anyone. You don't get easily uh, disheartened if someone tells you no because you're gonna get told no a lot. You're gonna get ghosted a lot. You have to keep your posture game strong, okay? Postured AF, got it? All right. So the second P in the seven Ps is to prospect. You gotta talk to humans, guys. You have to go out and you have to find humans to talk to. People are not just going to, you join network marketing and people are just gonna start raining down on you. Your inbox is flooded with people, I'm ready to join. That's not how this works, okay? Especially in the beginning as you're the hunter, not the hunted yet, okay? And you don't have a following yet. So you need to prospect humans. So I printed off my entire Facebook friends list. It's very easy to do. You can simply go to YouTube. I think we actually have a link in our getting started steps as well, how to print your Facebook friends list. And you just start going through it and start prospecting people, asking them if they're open. Go to our scripts. They do not come from me, I did not make them up. They actually come from Ray Higdon. He is a billionaire, has been the top of every single network marketing company basically he was in. He now coaches and trains network marketers to do network marketing the right way. He has a paid group called Rank Makers. I highly suggest if you want to build a big business that you get into Rank Makers. These scripts come from him. You're simply asking people, hey, are you open to checking this out? If not, no big deal. That's prospecting someone. So as you go through your Facebook friends list, you're either gonna prospect them to be a customer. Hey, are you open to checking out this product, these benefits, if not, totally cool. Or hey, are you looking to earn some extra money from home? If not, are you open to learning about how to make extra money from home? If not, totally cool. And basically that's prospecting. You gotta prospect people. You gotta ask people if they're open. It's very, very simple. And the way we word our scripts, the way they're worded is not, it's not a cold message. It's not icky. It's not spammy. It's not salesy. It's really just, are you open? If not, totally cool, okay? So I've never had someone get angry when I ask them if they're open, all right? It's just a very simple question. Take the emotion out of it, take the outcome out of it. I want you to think that you're married to the activity, you're divorcing the results, okay? Married to the activity, divorcing the results. Your new mantra is some will, some won't, so what? Who's next? So prospect, second P, God prospect, God talk to people, right? The third P is peak. You're going to peak their interest, not satisfy their curiosity. So you're not gonna give them all the goods, right? Just like when you go on a first date, you don't show up naked. You show up in a an outfit that piques the guy's curiosity but does not satisfy his curiosity. Same thing goes here. This is gonna be for your Facebook page and for when you're messaging people, okay? 
So your Facebook, we tell you to do curiosity marketing, curiosity posts. You're peaking curiosity, okay? You're not giving the name of the company. You're not giving the name of the product. That satisfies curiosity. All that's gonna do is they're gonna go to the old Google and look it up for themselves and buy it Buy it probably from, from a Google ad or something. So peaking curiosity makes them, it forces them to go into your inbox. It forces them to ask you more questions. It forces them to reach out to you. So when you're peaking their curiosity, all right, especially if they're, you prospected them, they're open. Now it's peaking their curiosity. Like, hey, why are you looking to earn some additional income? You know what, I'm getting ready to leave right now, but I actually have a page that I'm gonna send you and a group with some awesome testimonials that I'm gonna add you to. So um, how does that sound, right? I'll add you to that. So you're still peaking your curiosity. You are not word vomiting. You've prospected, they're open. Your next step is not to word vomit all of the things. You are not the expert. You are not the person that delivers all the information. We don't want you to word vomit. Oh, it's this happy coffee. It does this and nootropics and dopamine and oxytocin and all that. Blah, 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 blah. You're gonna lose them, okay? So you're still in that peaking of curiosity, right? So peaking curiosity means curiosity posts via attraction marketing and peaking curiosity in Messenger after you prospect by just saying that you have a page or a group that has all the info and that's gonna hook them up with the information. How does that sound, right? So they're still curious. Oh, yes, more information. I'd like to look at some information, right? The next piece, super important, you're going to point. Remember when I said you're not going to word vomit all of the information about what our product and opportunity is? No, you're pointing to a third party tool. This is super important, guys, okay? So duplication is this. You're talking to a prospect. In their mind the entire time is, if I join this business, this is what I have to do, okay? So if they, if you get to this point and don't point them to a third party tool and instead you're the expert giving them all the information and word vomiting all this, the minute they, they, they instantly think, oh wow, this is what I have to do if I join this business is like be the expert and learn all this stuff. Oh no, this isn't for me. But if you're simply just pointing to a third party tool, they're like, oh, well that's easy enough. All they do is ask if they're open and then they give me this video or this landing page or put me in this group. I could do that, right? So that's the duplication part, it's very important. So you're pointing to a third party tool. We have the landing page. For me, I send the landing page and I offer our ATM group because our ATM group has so many testimonials and people love that, right? So we can continue to drip the information on them. I like the landing page because it gives them the information right away. People like to look at the information right away, look at what they, you know. So I do both. I say, awesome, here's this landing page, here's this page, has all this information on it. I also have a private group here on Facebook that has great testimonials. Would you like to be added to that as well? And let them tell you, either yes or no. So you're pointing to a third party tool. Next is you're gonna pass, okay? So passing is literally, you've pointed them to the third party tool, you're following up, and they have more questions. You ask them, hey, what did you like best about the information, right? It's all in the scripts, what did you like best? You never ask them what they think, because they can tell you all the things they don't like. So you're just gonna say, hey, what did you like best? Cool, what else did you like best? Yes, I love all of those things too. What else did you like best? Oh, okay, on a scale of one to 10, 10 you wanna get started right now, one you don't really have any interest, where are you at? If they're anything less than a 10, and you're brand new, and you don't feel very postured, closing very easy you're gonna pass it to your upline and so this either means you are going to just pop them in a three-way group message chat that's the easiest way you're gonna say you know what I knew you'd have awesome questions tons of questions how about I put you in a group chat with me and my business partner and mentor who's been doing this much longer than I have and we'll get all your questions answered then you just reach out to your upline Put your upline and your prospect in a group messenger chat and let your upline close them for you so you can see how it's done. Now, maybe you've been doing network marketing a really long time and you're a master closer, close them yourself, totally fine. But for most 
it's going to be important to pass it to your upline at this point. Some people want a phone call, that's okay too. They're like, you know, if you feel like this person would wanna get on the phone, definitely offer a three-way call um, and your upline will be more than happy to hop on a three-way call with you. If your upline's new, reach up to me and I'm, I'm more than happy to get on a three-way call with you guys or in any group messenger, you can always add me to a group chat to help close someone for you. So you're passing, then they sign up. You have a new business partner. Hello, yay! And then you're going to plug them into the same system you were plugged into. You're gonna add them to the team page. You're gonna welcome them and to point them to the getting started right steps and this video and tell them to go through the steps and then to set up a call with you. Plugging them into the same system. The last and final P is promote. You're gonna go back to promoting your promote your product, service, opportunity, right? On social media or wherever you're promoting is totally fine if you're belly to belly, if you like to do home meetings, whatever. I love social media, so I'm promoting on social media every single day, and every single day, I'm following this with multiple people. Every person gets the same process. So, that is the seven P's of network marketing, guys. Pretty, pretty simple. Hope this was super helpful. And please, if you ever are getting stuck, what do I do next? Go back to this video, guys. It's literally posture, prospect, pique their interest, point them to the third party tool, pass it to your upline, plug them into the system, promote your product, service, or opportunity, and always stay postured. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye.